What's going on this week in Nerf? Hey everyone, welcome back to This Week in Nerf, your source for first party, third party, and community Nerf news. I'm your host, Adriana, and we've got a light episode this time, but the news never sleeps, unlike me. So let's get into it. If you thought you'd seen the last of the Swift, think again. This high-powered Springer is now available stateside from out of darts in white, orange, and powder blue. The blaster ships with an upgraded dart gate, mag release, and o-rings for tip-top performance right out of the box. Out of darts also stocks a ton of additional Swift upgrade parts, anything from a side-mounted priming bolt to aluminum internals to upgrade barrels and springs can be had for cheaper than getting it from shipped from overseas. The Swift cost $180 for the base blaster with upgrades sold separately. And if you're curious about how it performs, maybe check out our review. And eventually, we'll have it in our shop. Uh, we'll let you know when that happens. It'll be a bit. Just order from out of darts for now. <laughs> Three new Nerf Minecraft blasters are now available at Walmart. The Pillager Crossbow, Stormlander, and Ender Dragon Microshot. The Pillager Crossbow is, according to Phone Blast Discord member Super Vaporeon, basically a zombie strike crossfire internally. These bow arms are purely cosmetic. It's a smart AR springer that holds up to three darts. And it also looks like it'd be delicious with syrup with that waffle top. It costs $26.49 on walmart.com. The Stormlander is a little bit more interesting. It's also got a three dart smart AR, but with a priming grip at the butt of the handle and a trigger a little bit further up. Some speculated that this blaster would be similar to the Thor hammer, where the trigger is just a safety and you have to flick the hammer to fire the dart but it's really nice to see that this is a proper Springer instead, and it can be had for $20.99 at walmart.com. Finally, the Ender Dragon Micro Shot. Like all Micro Shots, it's a jolt, but the real star of the show here is that nice translucent purple plastic on the side. Super pretty. Also, it costs 11 bucks. First the strong arm, then the hammer shot, and now it looks like the Kronos is the next blaster to get the Amazon exclusive repaint treatment. There are three new paint schemes available now on Amazon.com. Sports looks like a tennis ball or maybe something that, like that leaked Rival Edge Kronos that never got released. Teal has a sweet 90s food court mural aesthetic going on, and then Shark, which is my favorite, has some mean looking teeth along the lines of fighter plane nose art. And each of those blasters can be purchased for $20.99. Spitfire Products has officially released the Ranger series, a bolt-action, mega-flinging springer. This hefty blaster is compatible with N-Strike Mega Mags and can fire over 175 FPS, which frankly is insane for Mega. The blaster comes with three different spring spacers to tune it down to 130 FPS, and you can purchase options like an aluminum bolt arm, carbon fiber barrel shroud, or a beefy K11 spring, and some in-house performance tweaks. Spitfire claims that an upgraded Ranger can hit in excess of 220 FPS, which is just insane. Uh, Spitfire also plans to release versions of the blaster that are compatible with more ammo types than Mega, like Rival, Elite, and Half-Length Darts, although we aren't sure if these will be receiver tweaks that can be installed on the default Ranger, or if they're entirely separate blasters. They're also working on hardware kits, but at the moment the Ranger is available as pre-built only. A pre-built Ranger costs $325, which is bumped up to $415 if you go with all of the optional upgrade parts. No word on hardware prices just yet. Silly Butt's concerning fixation on the skewer continues with his newest blaster, the Magbo. The Magbo is essentially a skewer, but instead of having a boring old trigger, it has two gigantic bow arms that slap the plunger rod forward to release the plunger. To fire, just pull it back until it catches, then release. It also has a cali caliburn-sized plunger tube, allowing to hit caliburn-sized FPS numbers. The blaster is in open beta right now and not currently sold anywhere, but the files are free on Silly Butt's GitHub, link in the description, and almost all the hardware can be purchased from Captain Slug, either in the Talonclaw and Caliburn kits or individually. You can check out the GitHub for more info on that. This behemoth of a blaster from Aftershock Armories plans to put the Nerf Aliens Pulse Rifle to shame. The PR-41 is a custom 3D printed Talon-fed flywheeler built for dual stage FTW wheels. It hits up to 150 FPS on 3S, 120 FPS on 2S, and is absolutely jam-packed with features. The PR-41 has select fire capability out of the box with a custom circuit board and solenoid pusher and features a side-mounted ammo counter and adjustable collapsing stock and a three-shot pump-action mega underbarrel. 
Well, that's a mouthful. <laughs> After Shark Armories has not publicly listed the blaster for sale just yet, but plans to sell it as a complete blaster in small production runs. Currently, the commissioned PR-41s he sold run about 500 big boys. As we approach the holidays, let's do a little bit of giving. We almost missed it last episode, but we do want to shine a spotlight on the annual Clowny Nerf Toy Drive. Clowny almost didn't run the toy drive this year thanks to a lack of participation last year, but we're happy to report the drive is in full swing for 2021. To enter the toy drive, all you have to do is donate one or more new inbox toys to Toys for Tots or any other charity organization, not a thrift store, that doesn't count, and then send a picture of yourself donating to, to his Facebook page. The drive ends on Christmas Day, so make sure you submit your donations early. Each toy donated is good for one slot in the drive's raffle. What the prizes are hasn't been officially announced yet, but Clowney has received an outpouring of support and donations from many in the Nerf community, so you can expect some dope prizes. Get out there and spread some cheer. And the second annual Thomas Corbett Charity Drive is also up and running. HVZ group Go Slow Taco asks that you donate to the Joy of Socks, a charity organization that provides socks to the homeless during these cold winter months in memory of containment crew's Thomas Corbett. Last year, they raised $2,717, and hopefully we can beat that this year. Additionally, for every $10 you donate, you earn one raffle ticket for some of the prizes that are being given away. Among the running are three Dart Zone Conquest Pros, a Max Striker, and many, many gift cards from your favorite vendors. The drawing will take place on January 2nd, 2022, so go throw some money at the Joy of Socks before then. And if you're interested, you can make a donation directly to the Joy of Socks via their website or by shopping their Amazon wish list. Make sure to email proof of your donation to goslowtaco at gmail.com to enter the raffle. Uh, let's, let's do some giving. Our mod of the week this episode comes to us from integrator extraordinaire Mr. Nathan with this beautiful modulus custom build, the Barracuda. At its core, the blaster is a nerf modulus, but it's had major bodywork, both functionally and aesthetically. It's got the stock, grip, and front end of a Nerf Alpha Hawk, the faux dot sight from an X-Shot Orbit, and some bits from Maverick's top slide to complete the look. The optic and the vent panels on the sides are illuminated by LEDs, and the vents even glow when you rev the motors. It's like the blaster is a well-loved muscle car or some experimental energy weapon. It's just super cool. It's not just a shelf piece, though. In his own words, Mr. Nathan is currently enjoying putting the blaster through its paces, and it's currently running a worker aluminum 42.5 millimeter cage and Kraken motors alongside a crisp solenoid pusher. And sometimes I find myself making up stories about blasters, and I see this one as a prop in some cyberpunk movie where they go back in time to hunt dinosaurs, which is probably not at all what Mr. Nathan was thinking, but that's what art is. I love this blaster. <laughs> Thanks for sharing it. And that's all we have for this week. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, the links to everything that I talked about are down in the description. And if you're interested in contributing stories, submitting your own builds, or getting a peek behind the curtain, or just want a place to hang out and talk about Nerf, check out our Discord server. We have links to that in the description. Uh, also, definitely make sure that you donate this holiday season. Uh, there's charity drives in the description as well. And, you know, if you don't do that charity, do some other charity. It's just good for the universe. Put out the good vibes. Bye. Oh, and we're, we're, uh, subscribe and like, and we'll be here next week, Monday, 9 a.m. Nope, two weeks, Monday, 9 a.m. Pacific, for reals this time. I'm so good at outros.